Yeah. Welcome, guys, to our channel. If you're new, this is Joshua. And that's Pearly whining. This is Pearly. She keeps getting stuck. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the holidays. I thought you liked talking about Christmas. Yeah. Don't you like talking about Christmas? Yeah. So we're gonna talk about Christmas and the bright lights and the bright sounds and a lot of the things that are out there during the holidays. A lot of kids with autism, the sounds and the stuff bothers them. You know how sounds bother you sometimes? You have to cover your ears. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that today, guys, and some ideas that might help get you ready for the holidays. Um, I have a little extra help because he helps me and he tells me what works and what doesn't work. And then I evaluate what seems to work and what seems to not work, so. Hey guys, we're back. We're actually at Starbucks. Oh. And uh, I wanted to point out a couple of things as we're at Starbucks to show Joshua and he has trouble enunciating, um, trouble chewing and getting his mouth to move to make the sounds that he needs to make to enunciate correctly and to chew correctly. So I was gonna point that out because I happened to think about it while I was watching him eat. I constantly have to remind him to close his mouth, but he's doing much better than he used to do. So I think with a little bit of therapy, that's going to go away uh, or lessen greatly. So if you do have a child that have in trouble chewing, definitely if they're younger, sorry I have my puppy over here, and you're wondering if that's going to be something that's gonna get better, it's gotten a lot better with Joshua. I've gotten lazy with pointing it out to him and really getting making him um, chew correctly and, and enunciate correctly, so that's a lot is my fault. So anyways, I wanted to just give a quick chit chat about surviving the holidays because that's coming up. Joshua is already displaying a lot of uh, sensory processing disorders from a lot of the holiday items in the stores. A lot of the problems that we have are he gets overstimulated with the lights and sounds, uh, anything Christmassy. Halloween is big, but Christmas is huge. So I do have a couple of tips. These are things that we do, and I've heard a lot of other ideas that are really good that you might want to think about. Um, if you're going somewhere that's going to have, a, you know, like stores and things like that, that's just very bright and full of lights and full of sounds and toys where they get very overstimulated. Um, my suggestion is if they're, you know, obviously this is very obvious, but Okay, his hands are cold. So I have to get in the car and warm them up. You have to put them in your pocket to warm them up. But they won't let a lot slower than the car. That's what your pockets are for. In the car, they're not going to warm up any faster. It's not cold out here. The reason why your hands are cold is because you just drank a cold frappuccino. So I, um,. I like to try to go to stores when there's not a lot of people. I eat early morning, later in the evening. Um, if we've had a night of no sleep and he is going on sugar or any kind of extra candy cookies with the holidays, I am going to forego shopping that day because that is setting it up for complete meltdowns and breakdowns for mom. So kind of evaluating your situation. If you know you're gonna go shopping, I would suggest getting lots of sleep the night before, getting up early, trying to go when it's a non-busy If you're going to places like um, Adventureland. So just some other things that, um, that I had read about and that were suggested. Let's go this way, honey. If you're going to an event, uh, you're going to a Christmas event somewhere that's having say Santa Claus is going to be there or um, uh, well for instance something like this
So if you're doing an event like this, my suggestion and what I always do, I try to call ahead, find out if they're doing something for autism, if they may have a, 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 a day that you can go in or a time that you can go in where they do just for, for children with autism. Um, and I'm going to try to find that out for this event and I'll put it in our description box if I do find out that they're going to do something for autism at Adventureland's Winterfest. I'm not aware of anything right now, but what I would do and what I'm going to do is I will go on a day that is not busy. So I will call up ahead of time, let them know we're coming, let them uh, be aware of the fact that Joshua has autism. And this could be very, very super stimulating for him, which it will be, but he loves going to it. And we actually live right around the corner. So if we have any issues, we're, literally uh, like two blocks from here so we can get home very quickly. Um, but we'll come in on a day that is not busy. We'll come in on a weekday, on a Monday evening when there's not a lot of people here. I would recommend trying to find out what day is not busy and go on that day. If you're going really far from home and you've got a long drive, make sure you bring along a sensory bag, okay? So you're gonna have things in it that's going to calm them down, their favorite blanket. Uh, Joshua would have his blanket, he'd have his, his um, a stuffed animal, or actually he'll have his phone, which is his biggest calm down. Anything, if a pacifier, anything like that that they need, pack that bag, pack some clothes that is, you know, non-stimulating if they happen to be in some clothes that they're not, you know, that's overstimulating for them. Joshua has sensory to any kind of design on clothes, whether he's wearing it or somebody else is wearing it. So we get a lot of overstimulation in a lot of places that we go to. And, but we just, we deal with it. I don't like. So yeah, I mean, there's things you can do. If your child is, here's my, here's what I wanted to tell everybody because I've talked to a few people and they've said the same thing to me that how I feel this is not how everybody feels this is definitely not the way that a lot of people feel but I want to have I want everybody to be comfortable around us I don't want to go somewhere and have a meltdown and then try to have him stay in that situation and it makes everybody uncomfortable right I know that I can't pull him out if he's I know the difference between his meltdowns where I need to get him away and his behavioral issues where he's trying to manipulate. And I don't say that, I hate saying that because I don't, that's a whole nother video. But my thing is I will pull him out quickly because I don't want to make an uncomfortable situation for everybody. I'm not there to break everybody else's peace. And I understand that we can't always do that and that he has every right to be there and that that a lot of times will not help him but I evaluate the situation and if it's getting to the point where other people are going to be uncomfortable I'm not there to ruin everybody's time so I know a lot of you won't agree with me I don't agree with me a lot of times but you know what it always works out because he actually does not have he hasn't had in about four years a lot of really bad meltdowns we used to have them so bad that, I mean, I would have to have people come and assist, security guards come and assist me because it would get so bad. So, and just try to get a lot of sleep, a lot of rest, eat really well, and be flexible. That's my best advice, be flexible, because if we're not flexible, we're gonna have a lot of moments that are gonna really, really drive us insane, right? And that's not good for our children, so try to enjoy your holiday season. I, and I'd love to hear your suggestions, comments, what you guys do and uh, yeah share with everybody because I know a lot of people are wondering about the lights and the sounds and you know overstimulation during the holiday season that is it that's all I got so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys enjoy our channel I hope that you will share this video share our videos um, and tell me what you think about what we're doing Give us a like if you like this, and hopefully you will subscribe. So, have a great night, and we'll see you in our next 
video. Shh.